Yo. Yo. That. Oh. We've got a bear monster here. Struggling a bit. It's not, it's not a phone. It's not a phone. It's not a phone. Welcome to another video. Walk on the wild side and I'm here. Oh, sounds like it's kicking off already in Blackpool. I'm just here on Central Drive, just outside the Coral Island. We've got a good view of the tower, it's lighting up time. It is round about quarter to ten. We're just about after sunset on a Saturday night. I'm just across the road from the castle here. It's uh, pretty noisy in there. And I'll tell you something, Sunday, when the match is on the final, it's going to be banging in here. It's a proper football club, the castle. What I thought I'd do in this video is we'll take a look through the town centre on a Saturday night. I'll try and take a different route to normal if I can. We've got the world match play darts on tonight as well at the Winter Gardens. I'll take a walk past there, see if we can see any anything. We might see some dart players. What do you reckon? Uh, got any Luke Littler fans? Uh, I don't think he's playing until Monday though, but you never know. Might catch some of the players around about, you never know. These are the prison toilets, by the way. Yeah, look at that there. They didn't used to have that big security fence going all the way around them, but they had to put that in place because uh, there were so many people stealing their way into the toilets <laughs> that they had to put this <laughs> security fence around them. My goodness, what's the world coming to? Uh, we're just at the coach station here. This is a coach station. It's not much of a uh, coach station, really. <laughs> a porter cabin pretty much that's all it is <laughs> but it's something I suppose yeah so this is where you get off your your National Express uh, I think we just had um yeah yeah National Express just left before yeah don't know whether it was picking up or dropping off or what but I'll uh, I'll turn towards town in a minute I just want to show you around here it's this car park here well actually it said it had the signs saying full, but it's not. Look, there's spaces. But they've got signs up saying it's full, so they're actually turning people away when there's spaces. How about that? Well, here's a quick look at the prices, just in case you're coming down to Blackpool over the next few weeks. Not particularly cheap. There are cheaper options at some of the private car parks. So this is the central car park here. Used to be able to get this from the main road into Blackpool. As you can see, we've got the police station over there. You cannot get into this car park now if you're coming down the main road just over there. You can't get into here. You have to go through this multi-storey car park if you want to, if you want to get out it. You can, you can drive into the multi-storey car park and then drive out the other side onto Chapel Street. So there is a way. Here's a little nosy inside the new multi-storey on the ground floor, as you can see. It's, uh, oh, this one's far from full as well, look at that. I've not actually been in here myself either because I'm not sure if my van will go under the height barrier, so I haven't, I haven't risked it. And this is the back of the King Edward Apartments. Luckily there's no beer monsters around here at the moment. This is the sort of place where you might get the beer monsters and the, the crackies round here, round the back here. It's a little bit dirty round the back. Look at this here, the back of the joke shop there, look. Chucky. That's a bit scary, isn't it? Please, can you bring your bell? Yo. Have you got a bell? <laughs> <laughs> Did I mention I was on the bike? <laughs> I'm not really riding it though. I'm just going to push it around and uh, let's take a look in Blackpool Town Centre on a Saturday night. I'm coming at it from a, a bit of a different angle. This road here is uh, Hornby Road. That's a cost cutter on the corner. 
I'll tell you what, there's some rowdy people around. Imagine what it's going to be like tomorrow. Tattoo parlour there. I'll tell you what, if everybody was like me in Blackpool, the tattoo parlours would all go out of business. <laughs> I wouldn't have a tattoo if someone paid me. <laughs> I just don't see the appeal at all. Fish and chips on the corner here. We're now coming back up to the castle again. Be banging in here tomorrow when the football's on England. Oh, just wait. Might come and have a look. DJ Joe Curran, he's been going for donkey's years. Mickey Finn's fish and chips, are they any good? So, so over here we've got the Palmer Cafe. I believe that this cafe is in the same family ownership since, uh, since it's been open. And that's on the corner of Hull Road. Just coming up to Albert Road now, just across from the Coral Island, of course, and the casino. Love Coral Island. You can spend quite a lot of time in there and a lot of money. More fish and chips here, look, traditional fish and chips. Check it out. They do just eat as well. We're now up to McDonald's. Oh, we've got another one around the corner, my goodness. Look at this. Fancy, isn't it? Nero's bar or Nairo's, is it? Those flowers are fake, by the way. What do you reckon? Doesn't look too bad, really, does it? You're not stuck for fish and chips here in Blackpool, are you? But anyway, I'm going to walk this way. I'll make my way towards the Winter Gardens. Got a load of trucks out there. Out the side. Broadcasting live from there, of course. Go past the McDonald's. Got someone begging down here. It's a, one of the prime spots. Just going past where CNA used to be. We used to have a bridge going across here. He remembers when this bridge used to go all the way across there to the promenade. It connected up to the, the palace, what was the palace nightclub at that time, yeah. Taxi rank here, any Ubers? I'll tell you what, it's kicking off a bit in town with the Ubers, you know. <laughs> They're a bit cheap though, aren't they, the Ubers? <laughs> so we've got TK Maxx here. I've been in TK Maxx for ages. Got some good stuff in there, haven't they? Let's have a look. Oh, look at this view of the tower, look. Look at that. Oh, we've got a bear monster here. Struggling a bit. Let's have a look at the tower, shall we? There you go, look at that. Check out the reflection of the tower in the new Sands Venue building. Whenever that might happen, the Sands Venue. <laughs> it's got the Blackpool Showtime Museum in it anyway. I'm just gonna nip towards the promenade because I think they've got the illuminations on. Let's go and check it out, shall we? I can see some of the illuminations lit up. Look at this. Hey, we're getting a preview here of the Blackpool illuminations. Check it out, we're just coming out here to the Albert and the Lion. Oh, look at this. Yes. Yeah, got the illuminations on. Check it out. Let's have a look this way. There you go, look at that. 
That was pretty awesome. Well, that was a bit of a bonus, wasn't it? We got to see a little bit of Blackpool Illuminations. Okay, I've just nipped onto the bike and I'm going to ride around to the, the Winter Gardens. Hopefully this bus won't fall out in front of me. Nearly did. Here we go. Going to go off Albert Road. I'll tell you what, it's, uh, it's quite lively. It is quite lively, I have to say. There's a lot of shouting going on. There's, you know, uh, I think we had a bit of a domestic at the start there, just outside the toilets. Is it going to kick off in Blackpool tonight? So that's Albert Road up there, carries on up the hill, past the Ruskin Hotel. I'm going to head this way up Coronation Street. There's the Backlot Cinema straight ahead there. Look at that. Looks quite fancy at night, doesn't it? What do you think? The Backlot Cinema and Diner. I'm going to take a right here. I'll go down the side of the side of the Winter Gardens. I won't be able to ride down there because it's one way. So let's get on the pavement. So I'm just heading up. Uh, what's this road called? It's Adelaide Street, isn't it? Past these hotels. I went past these just the other day, actually. If you saw my storm video. But now we've got all these trucks outside the Winter Gardens. Look at this here, look. Massive production going on. It's the PDC World Match Play. So we've got all these trucks here. There's even a, a camper, a motorhome down here, but it's hardly one of those star trailers that you get in Hollywood. Have you seen them star trailers? Whenever they're doing movies in Hollywood, they always have like a big star trailer. That's not a star trailer, is it? Right. Can you have a good day? I can smell beer. No wonder I can smell beer. This is the Dukeries Hotel. And uh, check this out. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I think someone's been living in here, but it absolutely stinks. Oh my goodness. So here's a look. Back at the tower there, look at the tower. Doesn't it look amazing with all these trucks here and that star trailer, <laughs> camper van. <laughs> it's a bit of an old camper van, that one and all. I wonder who's living in that. Look at this here, we've got a massive satellite dish over here. Check it out. The Blackpool lads covered this as well. If you want to check out their video, I'll put a link to their channel in the description. They came past here during the day. I think it is. Just in there. That's where they all go in, I think. Yeah, that's the entrance to the the Empress Ballroom. That's where it's taking place. Yeah, right in there. There you go. BDC, yeah. I remember back in the olden days when it used to be the BDO, John Lowe, Eric Bristow, Jockey Wilson. Swilling the pints at the Lakeside Country Club until there was a breakaway. Phil the Power Taylor. I think Eric Bristow was one of the first ones. It's not, it's not a phone. It's not. Sorry, I just had to break away there. Taxi driver had to go up me back there. He thought I was using a mobile while I was riding my bike. I was literally pushing my bike along that road there and filming at the same time and he thought I was on a mobile. I've got lights all over me. I'm all lit up, I'm riding slow. I think that that taxi driver, well, I think he was uh, 
bit of a bit of an idiot really for saying that. On a mobile or something while while riding a bike. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's Look at me. I've got Uber. lights. I've got. I've <laughs> thought you're an Uber. I'm all lit up. I'm riding dead slow, and I can't believe someone's had a go at me. And yet you he get these. That, he thinks that's a mobile phone. <laughs> yeah. He thought that was a mobile. Yeah. <laughs> what a nutter. <laughs> anyway. See you, see you later. <laughs> Well, it's looking pretty busy around here. We're just outside the Winter Gardens. You can see the tower there. Just talking to some of the taxi drivers there about my little uh, situation that I had back there. Uh, it's pretty noisy around here. I can hear some, uh, there's a band playing just over here. The West Coast Rock Cafe. Check it out. I hope that's not copyrighted music. Probably will be. Yeah. That's pretty loud. That's the West Coast Rock Cafe. And now we're on Burley Street. We're heading down underneath Brilliance, which is not working at the moment but it might it might light up later I don't know a lot of people say this is a massive waste of money it must have cost I don't know I don't know how much it cost but I think it's pretty good but I think it was supposed to uh, revitalize this street and bring a load of people here you know to all the cafes and everything but I don't think it really has it it struggled a little bit this street yeah just going past the Rose and Crown now. This is the Rose and Crown. Oh, we've got Abba playing in there. <laughs> Coming down to Corporation Street. Seems to be getting a bit more busy down here now. More loud music down here at Market Street. Brannigan's, of course. Football's coming home again in there. Yeah. So we're just heading down here now towards the promenade. Pretty noisy. Okay. Oh no, they turn. Oh no, I thought they turned the illuminations off. They're still on. They're still on. The testing them. We are. Another look at the illuminations. Let's get them with the tower, shall we? Look at that. I'll tell you what, it's a bit rowdy at Shenanigans. Look at this here, eh? look. They're having a good time in there tonight. Look at that. Houses. Let's have a look at that view of the tower again. Look at this. Come on. Wouldn't you love to be here in Blackpool right now? So I've made it to Talbot Square. I won't be going any further. That was a little look around Blackpool on a Saturday night. I'm not sure of myself on this video. I'm doing the Jeremy Vine look tonight because I'm on my bike. But this is how the North Pier looks at 
around about, well, half past ten now on a Saturday night. That and uh, that's it for this video. I hope you like it. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.